What's going on guys? Welcome to my first ever vlog on Jack Francis drums. I cannot tell you how long it's been since I've wanted to try and get these videos out to you guys, but I think I've just found every excuse in the book to not share any content like this because I don't know, me and the camera, we just don't get on sometimes, you know, and my voice, I don't know. I get a feeling like people might find it irritating or all that kind of crap. And anyway, enough of the excuses because it's time for change. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Yeah! Time to start bringing you some different content rather than you just watch me for two to three minutes smashing the drums in all the covers because we all know that's what you want to see. We get it. <laughs> yeah, boy. But I want to change it up for you guys, give you something a little bit different. So throughout the year, I've got a lot in the pipeline that I want to share with you guys. I've got product reviews coming your way. I've got behind the scenes footage of studio sessions or gigs or music videos. And then I'm going to bring you some tutorials and do some lessons probably. And, you know, see how I get on with them because I consider myself an okay teacher, but, you know, I'll let you guys decide on that one. Um, but also I'm gonna bring you some behind the scenes content of me just making, I guess, these videos for you guys also. So um, without further ado, let's get down to today's vlog. And that is gonna be a product review because I have been wanting to do something like this for a while. And I thought, what can I share with you guys? Because I don't really have anything because this all you've seen before, do you know what I mean? Like, I might do another video where I go through all of my gear that I've got and all that kind of stuff, but that's for a later date. Today we're gonna to do a product review video, and this one, I must admit, I've been quite excited to share it with you since I picked it up, probably last, like beginning of last week. Um, I, I love getting brand new gear, I love it to pieces. Um, I usually go buy brand new, you know, online or go to a nice shop because who doesn't like a nice butcher's around a good old music shop or a drum shop. Um, but I've always loved the second-hand market and I've always loved the, the, you know, like the vintage market or the, you know, the restoration side of drums. I've always kind of, I've really enjoyed like sort of ex seeing people like share their kind of their, their projects they've been working on or anything like that. So, um... I thought, what's, what could I bring you guys for the first vlog on this channel as a product review? So, you know, I was racking my brain, seeing what was going on, but I've been sending a lot of bits for a while now to kind of uh, fund all the equipment, to uh, show you new gear and all this kind of stuff, and also to be able to do these videos, you know, just so I could bring you something new every single time. Um, but I saw this, and it's been something I've been wanting for a while, um, and when I saw it, I was like, I, I, I've, got, I've, got, I've got to get it got to get it it's such such a such a good bargain that i got it at so um without further ado i'm going to introduce you to this absolute beauty that i got recently and this is the tama slp range steel snare shell i've got to get that right because this is why i said we just don't work but anyway this Proper, proper shocked me. It doesn't look, might not look big on camera, you know, but this is a 15, 15 by eight snare. Damn! Right. I have been wanting to build my snare collection for ages, like long, long time. And when I saw this, I couldn't turn up this bargain because it's basically brand new like um, the, the gentleman I brought it off uh, such a nice guy he was um, selling it because he just he just wasn't fond of it he just didn't want it but as I said I've been selling some stuff for a while and I have wanted a snare from the SLP range for quite some time um, and I'm always this kind of person that likes something a bit different a bit something you don't see all the time so this was uh, a limited edition snare that they only sold a certain amount of them between 2018 and 2019. Um, so, as you can tell, like I said, I'm always one for something a bit different. So, um, when I heard it was limited edition, and I'd never really seen a 15 by 8 before, so I was quite intrigued. And um, I love the steel, the look, I love it. Like, it looks 
proper cool. It looks like, um, I don't know if there's any fans of Star Wars out there, but, um, you know, no spoilers alert, but if you've seen The Mandalorian, it kind of looks like the, um, the best scar metal um, that uh, The Mandalorian wears. This is the way. And if you can't tell already, I am I am a bit of a Star Wars fan. I I, I do have a, I did custom make a uh, Star Wars uh, floor tom here. But um, yeah, um, I've always wanted one of these snares, and I saw it, and I was like, this is an absolute bargain. I picked this up for 150 pounds. 150 pounds, brand new in the box. It had only been tinkered on the top when he was trying it out, but it was in such beautiful condition. Like it is, it is mahusif. Like I. I I was like, what the hell, like, you know, and actually, funny enough, it's, it's a little bit weighty, but it's not overly heavy, like some snares I've had before, where they just, like, you just don't want to take it to gigs or anything, because it's just, I don't know, they just weigh you down, basically, but, um, I saw this, I couldn't turn up the bargain for 150 quid, being how good condition it is, um, but, yeah, I wanted to share this one with you, I was really excited, because, like, I don't know, if you guys have, I haven't seen many 15 by 8 snares before. Um, I know there's all different kind of things out there, but just in my own personal, you know, experience and, and adventures, I haven't seen a 15 by 8 snare. So when I saw it, I was like, this is something I've got to pick up because it's limited edition too. And just throwing it out there, I am a massive, massive, massive fan of Tama. My kit is Tama. My snares Tama. Most of my snares are Tama, but this was. It just had to be done because Tama just make wicked products and their SLP range is like this like really reasonable price snares but like I was just like wow I never knew they did a 15 by 8 so I picked up this beauty and in today's video I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a bit of a whirl on the kit and I'm gonna see what you guys think of it also but I'm gonna try a low tone on it I'm gonna try a medium tone and I'm gonna try a high tone give it a bit of a crank you know not everyone likes a bit of crank you weird buddy um, but I do personally. I love a bit of a snap on the snare. You know, people make it sound wicked. Um, I don't know what my tuning skills are going to be like on a 15 because, uh, like I say, I've never had it before. Um, I could just about tune my 16-inch floor tom sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, but this is a bit different. You know, a bit more high maintenance, trying to get that right. You know, tune and everything like that a bit. But um, oh, I'm hitting the other snare. Um, but yeah, um, I'm really excited to share this one with you. So um, without further ado. Let's get straight to showing you what it sounds like. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, few clips of uh, seeing what the tones were like on that. But yeah, I think overall, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with how versatile this snare could possibly be. You know, like, you know, you can get the low tone out of it, quite uh, roughly like sort of low medium to high medium. And then you can get like, sort of a, I say like a low high to a high, proper, proper high crank out of it. Um, Obviously, like I said, I've never tuned 15s before, and uh, my tuning skills are to be uh, tabbed with, but um, if that's even a word, I don't know. What are you talking about? 
But um, yeah, there's something that I'm still like trying to work on. But um, it was definitely quite hard to tune this because it has quite of a lot of um, uh, quite of a ring to it, quite of an undertone to it. So um, it's trying to find that perfect balance where you don't get too much, but you kind of get a nice bit of resonance from it to, I guess, let the snare sing a little bit because otherwise it just, I don't know, it would just sound really dead and flat. But um, I I'm really impressed with it. I really, really love it. I think. Um, it's definitely going to be in some future videos of mine, um, so keep an eye out for it. I'll probably put it in like the little caption or anything when I am using it from uh, now on. But um, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely got a lot of versatility about it, and I'm, I'm quite intrigued to see how far I can push it in terms of like how far I can crank it and um, how low I can get it. Um, I definitely say something like if you had a snare like this, it definitely suit like country. Um, or maybe kind of like in terms of the low end of it, but if it was like kind of something, you know, a bit, bit looking for like the kind of snappy end out of it, I think because it's got quite a lot of resonance, it'd be good for kind of like depending on how you tuned it, you could get a nice bit of like something for like rock or metal out of it. I think um, so. Yeah, overall, I'm, I'm it's a bloody bargain. That's all I can say. It's a flipping wicked snare. It's beautiful looking. Um, Tama never disappointment, that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, overall, for the price, generally, and what I paid for it, like, I think it's it's got so much, like, potential to do so much, like, for, can use it for recordings and live shows and stuff, um, I'm just gonna play around with the tuning on it and see how I get on, I guess, and, um, yeah, to keep an eye out for it in future videos, because, um, yeah, you might see it um, come up in some of the next covers, you never know. Um, but yeah, first vlog, gonna keep it short and sweet, not gonna keep you for too long. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. I am gonna do more of this. I am, I promise, gonna get better at everything, tuning, uh, talking, you know, playing, you know, editing, all that kind of stuff. But um, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this first vlog and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing the rest of them. So uh, stay tuned, stay safe, keep practicing and I'll catch you soon on the next vlog. Take care.